do not skip through this video. If you clicked on this video to get the best jump shot for your build on NBA 2K21 Next Gen, do not skip. There is going to be several helpful tips that are going to make you a better shooter on 2K21 Next Gen. We're going to go over the best tips and tricks to make you a better shooter. We're going to go over the best bad setups for whatever build you have or position you are. We are going to go over the best takeover combinations as a shooter. We are also going to have a list of jump shots that are the fastest jump shots, the biggest green window jump shots, and the jump shots that make the most whites. I will also provide the best settings for you based on your build, your position, and your preferences for shooting. And then lastly, I will provide gameplay to back all this in information up all to make you a better shooter on nba 2k 21 next gen so make sure to drop a like subscribe to the channel for all this useful information and without further ado let's hop straight into this video man let's get it Okay, so once again, make sure to drop a like on this video if this video helps you out at all throughout this entire video. And make sure to subscribe. We are so close to 400k subscribers. If you're not subscribed, I don't know what you're doing. By the way, I stream on YouTube basically every single day. But I'm going to give you guys some crazy, really good tips to start off this video. So you got to listen up. Some of these are, I'm going to crack some myths that some of y'all might be thinking that's true that actually isn't true. And just give you some guys some really good tips that most people and most YouTubers are never going to tell you. So number one, when it comes to a custom jump shot and by the way always make a custom jump shot uh, but when it comes to a custom jump shot the two releases after the base actually don't affect your jump shot at all except how they it looks and how you time it okay so if for example if the um, blank base is good right then you're, you know your jump shot solid now all you have to worry about is how the jump shot looks with the releases so if i'm good with um base 29 or no if base 29 is a good jump shot and i'm really good with timing dwayne wade then i'll put base 29 as my base and then i'll put dwayne wade as my release one and two okay then uh, that way it's gonna be like a similar timing to dwayne wade but it's also gonna have the effects that base 29 has with how good it is with a green window how good it is with the white percentage and all that good stuff of the, the speed and all, all that with the jump shot the releases literally affect nothing but how it looks it doesn't affect the speed doesn't affect the green window doesn't affect the white percentage or anything like that another thing make sure your meter is is off especially in next gen there is no excuses for having a meter on i don't care what your preferences are take your meter off i said this in 2k20 but it was more like a preference this year it's a must if you have your meter on i don't care if you have a 99 three-pointer you will miss way more than somebody that doesn't have their meter off whether you know how to time your shot with the meter or without the meter or whatever take your meter off shot feedback i see a lot of people turning off their shot feedback thinking that makes them green more it does not affect your jump shot at all 2k labs did a test on this as well taking your shot feedback off does not help you green more at all just leave it on it's like shooting blind you may as well have it on another thing is don't change your a jump shot too often the more often you change the jump shot the worse you're gonna get at shooting okay stick with a jump shot stick consistent with a jump shot two more things one of the things is a cue you need a cue for your jump shot especially with your meter off whether you're looking at your feet your hands your player whatever you're looking at you need to have something that you look at every time when you shoot so you know what it's time so if i'm looking at my feet okay when my player's feet look like this that's when i release x or when my hands get to an extent oh that's when i release x or square whatever you're shooting with lastly make sure to buy boost as you can see on your screen all you have to do is go over here go to my health and you can buy boost right here on the screen make sure you have jump shot boost on it will go a long way i don't care if you have the we want to save ec or whatever if you want to be a good shooter you need to use jump shot boost as you can see i have 99 jump shot boost on my player make sure to get them okay but anyways those are my best tips for you guys now let's get into the rest of the video remember do not skip i got a lot of information for you guys that's going to help you out a lot in the long run now before i get into these main categories okay you should probably be wondering, why am I listening to this dude? Why am I listening to Double H? Well, this is my record on Next Gen. I have probably the top five most park games played on this game. I have over 2,000 wins at the time of this recording. I have a 91 win percent. I have won every single event that has come out twice so far. I dominated Rival Day. 
I, I'm really just going crazy on next gen. I'm one of the most winning uh, players in this game. You know what I'm saying? My record shows that and not a lot of the other YouTubers are going to show their record this year because this year, a lot of people that were good in the past are not consistently good at this game. So I have a lot of, not only do I have a lot of experience on this game, but I have a lot of winning experience on this game. So let's just get into the first thing, okay? The settings on NBA 2K21 Next Gen, the best shooting settings to make you a better shooter. So all you're gonna have to do, click start, go to options, go to, uh, actually, is this the settings? Yeah, shot feedback. Make sure that is on all shots. Like I said in the beginning of the video, taking your shot feedback off does not help you at all. I literally laugh every single time I play against somebody that has their shot feedback off because these dudes are thinking that that gives them a boost. That does not give you a boost. It has been proved that it doesn't. It literally does not give you a boost at all. It's literally in your head. That does not help you at all. Turn the shot feedback on. Anyways, go to your controller settings vibration. Make it on whether you get a vibration during your shot or not. Just leave it on. You may as well have it on. A uh, shot meter. That is a must off. I'm you just you have to learn to shoot with it off. Stew off a meter, bro. Take it off. I'm telling you. Perfect release. This is like the animation you get. You can put on a letcher. You, you'll see the difference. It's like at the bottom of your player. So you can mess around with that. That's a new thing in next gen. Uh, it's basically the animation you get um, at the bottom of your feet when you green a shot with no meter or when the animation gives you on the meter if you're using the meter. Shot timing, dude. Shots only. Shot made or aiming off. Shot aiming is not very good on next gen. Um, and all the other settings. Make sure those dribbling settings are on absolute. But yeah, those are the best settings for NBA 2K21 next gen um shooting pretty simple let's get into the next thing next we have the best shooting badges in nba 2k21 next gen now whether you have 10 badges 30 shooting badges whatever there are still new badges that you need to learn about okay so i have 28 shooting badges i'm going to tell you the best ones hall of fame hot shot is a must if you, whatever you can max out hot shot to make sure it is maxed out that badge basically makes you get your takeover faster after shooting that's a must badge green machine hall of fame a must hot zone hunter hall of fame make sure you get your hot zones a must Deep threes maxed out, whether it's gold or Hall of Fame. Very good. That's basically like limitless range this year. Um, but yeah, those four badges are probably the most important shooting badges in my opinion. Deadeye, nothing more than bronze. Do not put it more than bronze. Bronze is all you need. Stop and pop is a new badge. It's basically like the quick stop badge. So after you com come to a stop and you shoot, it gives you a boost. So Hall of Fame stop and pop is a huge W. Um, corner specialist, I like the fade, so if you like fading to the corner, silver corner specialist, it's actually a W. Catch and shoot, it is nothing more than bronze, but one of the best new badges in the game this year is actually Hall of Fame Blinders. The Blinders badge, basically what this badge does is if somebody is on your hip or on the side of you instead of in front of you, it gives them no contest, so you could just shoot it. Um, and then that goes for them if they're behind you, on the side of you, or whatever. So that means if you have Hall of Fame blinders on, the only way somebody can contest you is if they're right in front of you. Otherwise, you're going to get a wide open every single time. The, that's probably the most overpowered one out of any, any of these, maybe besides Hot Shot. But yeah, those are the best shooting badges. Those are the shooting badges I run. Um, the most important ones, like I said, Hot Shot, Hot Zone Hunter, Deep Threes, and Green Machine um, are very important but blinders is like the most overpowered one if that makes sense corner catch and shoot and dead eye don't need anybody higher than any of those tiers but i'm gonna show you guys the rest of my badges i'm in my badge setup just in case if you guys want to see them um when it comes to my playmaking badges sometimes i switch the passing badges to ankle breaking badges depending on what court i am on um and there's my defensive badges as well but anyways those are the best shooting badges um best shooting setup for nba 2k21 next gen and yeah, let's get into the next one. The best takeover combinations for shooting. Now, you can change your takeovers once you get maxed badges, which is called the Mamba Mentality Badge, okay? Now, the shooting bad is obviously sharp and shot creating are good. I would never pick a defensive takeover, by the way. Those are pretty bad this year. But anyways, there's a lot of good shooting takeovers. Spot of Precision is probably the best shooting takeover. This is better than Limitless Range. Um, by far, in my opinion, it's just very good. You can really shoot from anywhere. You can shoot off the catch and shoot. It's basically like the regular sharp badge. Um, you know what I'm saying? Now, the limitless range one is like 
I can shoot from half court. You know what I'm saying? It's not, it doesn't really help you when you're closer to the three point line. It just helps you when you're shooting from very deep. Now the pull up precision takeover is like if you're fading away um, from really anywhere, the mid range, the three point or whatever. There's ankle breaker shots. That's just ankle breakers. Um, and then there is the negative impact one, which is only um, reducing the impact of people contesting you when you're fading away or doing a step back or whatever. So good compensations, pull up precision, negative impact. Those two takeovers right there actually give you team take off one possession if you fade a three pointer off a flashy pass so those two takeovers are very good together another good one is spot up precision and really any limitless range and then maybe ankle breakers or not in limitless range um or yeah in limitless range and then uh pull up precision or spot up precision and ankle breaker shots is a good one for the 1v1 court really any combination between a shot creating a sharp or bull shot creating or bull sharp are good combinations but if you're gonna do a combination either do the team take combination or start with the spot up precision as the primary in my opinion but yeah those takeovers are very good shooting takeovers that's what each of them do but yeah let's get into the next one okay y'all so next is gonna be the list of jump shots the best jump shots in nba 2k21 next gen the the fastest jump shots the jump shots with the most potential green window the jump shots with the most potential pure green window and the best jump shots for making whites all of them will be here including the jump shot that i use now i'm going to show you guys the jump shot that i started off with on next gen um which is actually my current gen jump shot and that's just pure Dwayne wade it is not nearly as good as my other jump shots to be honest um but it's a decent jump shot i started off with it but this is the jump shot right here base stephen curry release one release two this is the best jump shot for me in nba 2k 2021 next gen this is the jump shot that brought me to a 91 win percentage this is the jump shot that won me my events and if you could see on the screenshot right here, Steffi Curry is actually one of the, it's actually the fastest jump shot out of any of the best jump shots in NBA 2A21 next gen. It also has a very big potential green window, um, which means that you're not going to get a lot of full, par full bars on this. You know what I'm saying? And it also has a really high edge make percentage, which means it's going to make a lot of whites too. Now, Stephen Curry is just the base. As you can see, that's just what these stats are based off of. But the releases don't matter. So I went with Dwayne Wade and Dwayne Wade for release one and release two because I'm used to timing Dwayne Wade from current gen and from the beginning of 2K21 next gen. Now, if you're used to timing Shaq or, uh, and I don't know, Bill Cartwright or John Wall or Kevin Durant, then put those as your releases. It doesn't matter what the releases are as long as your base is Stephen Curry. Go max speed as well. Make sure it's 100% speed then that jump shot is going to be money for you but this is the jump shot that i use i'm also going to be showing you guys other jump shots that are very good if you're a center go with base 38 that's the jump shot that i use on my center and he has one shooting badge and i'd be going crazy with him but anyways we're going to show some other jump shots that are also very good when it comes to the base now remember i'm not going to be showing you any more releases i'm just going to be showing base jump shots so you can put whatever releases you want with these bases but base 29 is a very good jump shot this jump shot is the, actually the fastest jump shot in nba 2k21 next gen so if you want a fast jump shot maybe you're a little taller than most people and you want to make up for your slow um jump shot that you're supposed to be getting and you want to go with base 29 then go with base 29 it's literally the fastest jump shot in nba 2k21 next gen now another good base that you could be using jump shot 98 now jump shot 98 now jump shot 98 is actually the jump shot with the biggest potential green window so you're not going to get a lot of full bars with this jump shot and you're going to get a lot of green so yes if you want a big potential green window which means that the green window is easy it's just easier to green with jump shot 98 basically then go with that jump shot three has the highest or one of the highest speeds has one of the highest potential green windows has the highest pure green window so does john wall john wall has the these all these jump shots are tied for the highest pure green window so john wall base three and base 111 all have tied for the biggest pure green window basically what that means is you will get the least full bars with these three jump shots okay if you don't know what a full bar is is basically you time it correct but you can't green every shot you know what i'm saying so you know what i'm saying so some shots their green window gets smaller because it's a tougher shot you have low energy whatever these jump shots are gonna 
those things are going to take less in effect when it comes to that, if that makes sense. But if you know what a full bar is, you know what I'm talking about. You get less full bars with those three jump shots, as you can see on the screen. Now, Dan Rue is actually the best jump shot when it comes to making whites. If you're not very good at timing your jump shots, regardless, you want to like make no, the most whites, this has an 87% make per or edge make percentage. Now, that doesn't make your, mean you're going to make 87% of your whites, but it does mean that this jump shot is the best best jump shot in the game for making whites now remember all these jump shots are bases not releases so these jump shots this this one right here might look a little ugly but if you put the right releases on it could be a different story now once again the best big man jump shot is jump shot 38 other good jump shots for bases Dwayne Wade Stephen Curry um, but yeah here's just a whole list if you guys want to see these two lists of the how fast some of these jump shots are the potential green window for these jump shots the pure green window for these jump shots the edge make percentage for these jump shots once again the speed is the speed so the lower the number of milliseconds the faster the jump shot is potential green window that's the green window that you can get for greening shots obviously so the bigger the number is the better um the pure green window is the window that you have no matter what no matter how low your energy is no matter how tough the, the shot is that's the window for that pure green window so no matter what you can green that shot so obviously the bigger the number the better the edge make percentage is the percentage um it's not like the pure percentage of making whites but the higher the percentage the more whites that jump shot will get these are all bases these are huge lists ray allen is pretty good too so you guys can take a look at this list maybe write down a couple of these bases that you think you like the combination of these numbers and go ahead and make a jump shot for yourself hopefully these jump shots help you out and if you guys make a jump shot for yourself and it's money for you comment it down below and if you you know you're looking for a jump shot that you didn't like in this video maybe my jump shot isn't working for you go to the comments and look for some money jump shots in the comment section but anyways let's get on to the last thing which is just the gameplay hopefully i helped you guys a lot today with this today's video i really went over everything the settings the badges the takeovers the jump shots literally as much as i could here's some gameplay of my main jump shot once again base step curry release one Dwayne wade release two Dwayne wade 100 speed i'd be going crazy with this jump shot just showing some clips both these games i shot 100 if you think i'm just taking clips out of context you can watch my streams i stream every single day on youtube so make sure you turn on notifications so you can be notified when i go live and sometimes those notifications don't work so what you can do is follow me on twitter turn those notifications on and that way you'll get a notification whenever i'm live on twitch youtube upload a new video or do whatever because those twitter notifications work 100 percent of the time and i tweet out every single time i'm live or upload a new video but anyways make sure to drop a like on this video subscribe to the channel if you guys new 400k on the way this jump shot has a, is a high arcing jump shot it looks great very easy the time has a good green window has a good pure green window very good white make percentage and is one of the fastest jump shots i think they're actually the second fastest jump shot in the entire game when it comes to jump shots that have good green windows but once again went five for five four for four from three again in this game appreciate y'all watching this video it's been your boy henry aka double hdf and i'm out y'all peace